it's through um, trying to improve operational practices that generate pollutants in the first place. So as I say, industrial areas, management of commercial areas and um, you know, food industries and things like that that can actually uh, allow waste to escape into the stormwater system. But then it's to use um, what we call water sensitive urban design, which is really about um, uh, breaking the connection between all our impervious paved areas where pollutants sit and then get washed off by rain into our, into our waterways through the drainage system, disconnecting those, if you like, um, and ensuring that that um, urban stormwater goes through um, treatment systems like rain gardens before it gets into our waterways. And that's really a long-term transformation of the city from one that's based around 19th century drainage type infrastructure to 21st century sustainable stormwater infrastructure. It's a long-term vision, but it's one that we really need to start now. It'll take decades um, to roll that out. But as I say, in the meantime, we keep focusing on all those operational things that have an impact on water quality. And of course, it's not just about those urban areas. It is, um, we do generate pollutants from rural land uses as well, and we need to ensure that rural land is managed to um, protect water quality also. So fencing out waterways, um, getting stock out of um, rivers and creeks, um, revegetating those waterways, getting buffer zones in there, making sure that they're stable, that they're not eroding and, and uh, producing lots of sediments from that erosion that's, that's getting into the river.